In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a blog on Wix. Now, by the end of the video, you should know all of the basic steps that you need to take to get your blog up and running, to edit your blog and to add your own content. Then I'll show you how you can publish it to the world. And hopefully by the end of the video, you will know everything about Wix and have a basic understanding of how it works. So what you first need to do is go to Wix.com. And once you're here, you can then go ahead and sign up for a free account. Once you've signed up, it will take you to a window which looks like this where you can go to your sites. Now, obviously you won't have any sites created, so you wanna go ahead and click on create a new site and it will then walk you through the process of creating your site. Now, the first thing it's gonna ask you is do you want to set your site up with AI? Currently, as of January, 2024, the AI setup really, it just kind of wastes time. You kind of just give it information and it just inputs that information anyway. You're better off just inputting the information where you want it to go yourself. So I'm gonna click set up without AI and I advise you to do the same. In the future, AI might be great on Wix, but as of current day, it isn't that good. Now we're creating a blog here, so you can search for blog, and you'll see all of these different blog templates that you can use. You can filter through like niche blogs. So if you've got a blog about fitness, maybe you wanna type in fitness blog, or if you just wanna see all of the templates that you can use for blogging, just search for blog and you'll get access to like the most amount of templates. So what would you like to call your website? For the video, I'll just call my website. Let's say we have a blog on Thailand. So I'll just call it Thailand blog. So then we can go ahead and click next and we can start to build out our blog. Now by default, they're going to recommend you. Obviously you want the blog, so the blog is gonna be built in. They're gonna try and recommend you to add chat and your Instagram feed. These are a bit random in my opinion. Like I don't know why you'd want to chat on your website because you're never going to be able to chat with everyone that comes to your blog, especially if you intend on your blog to do well. So I would uncheck this. Just go on any other blog on the internet. They don't usually have a chat. And then Instagram feed, I mean, you can add it if you need to, but you can always add this at a later date, so it doesn't really matter. So just go ahead and uncheck that. And the only one you want really is blog. You can go through these and see if any of these apply to you. But again, you can add them at a later date. And what I would recommend you do is keep your blog as simple as possible when you're first starting out. And then you can always add stuff later once you've got the fundamentals down. So go ahead and go to next. And then it's going to ask you, how do you want to set up your website? Now you can design with a template or you can design and get Wix to custom build you a site. Now, if you're new to this, I would just recommend begin with a template because what you can do is you can swap out media from a template with your own media and your own text and your own images, videos, and you can build a very aesthetic looking blog. So click begin with a template and that will take you to all of the blog website templates. Now these are sorted by recommended, but you can sort for top templates, newest and so on. You can also go through these categories and see if any of these match with your blog category. So you wanna pick a blog here, which you like the look of, and then you can go ahead and edit it. Let's just see here. I mean, they have a lot of pages. I'm just gonna choose one for the video. And we'll just go with personal blog. You can edit this by clicking on the edit button, or if you wanna view it first, click on the view button. I'm just gonna go straight into editing this and we'll just kind of build this together. Now there are some basics you need to understand and I'm gonna cover them first. Then we'll get into the more advanced stuff. Then I'll show you how you can publish your blog. So stay till the end and you should then have the knowledge to build your own blog on Wix. Okay, so when you first open your blog, it's gonna ask you to use AI to write your site content. Now you can do this if you want to, but I recommend you just exit out of this and you can basically write your blog yourself without using AI, it's not really that helpful. So here we are inside of our blog. Now, the first tool that I'm gonna to introduce you to is gonna be the zoom in and out tool. So if you click here on the top right hand corner, it's gonna zoom into 100% and 50% and that's gonna make it easy for you to make changes. So if you zoom into 100%, you can obviously zoom in and make precise changes to your blog. Now, everything that you hover over is going to be editable. And the way it works on Wix, you're going to have these different sections. So this is a section. Recent posts is a section. You've got this here, which is a section and so on. Now you can go ahead and fill out these sections. You can delete any sections. You can also add new sections. So just when you're editing your blog, you wanna think about the sections and don't try and edit everything at once. Edit one section at a time. So the first thing I'm gonna edit is gonna be at the top here, and I'm going to go ahead and zoom into 100%, and I'm going to double click on the text, and you can edit this text however you want. So we're creating here a Thailand blog, so I'm going to type here Thailand blog. Now notice when I did that, it kind of like moved the whole section with the text. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight the text, and if you come to the text settings, you can change things like the style, the font, the effects, and so on. 
Now, one thing to note when you're changing stuff like this, the further you go away from the blog's theme, the quickly it starts to go downhill and you start to have a blog that looks kind of ugly. So I'm going to just kind of like edit this text and you can see I've edited the text, but now we've got this big ass header. So I'm just gonna bring this down. Now, the more edits you make, the more things are gonna start changing and moving on your blog. So you got here Thailand blog. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click on this and I'm going to go to alignment and center this. Okay, so now we've got Thailand blog and I can write my subhead in here. Or alternatively, if I didn't want a subhead in, I could click on this bit of text and then click delete on the keyboard. So there we go. Now we've just got Thailand block. So here we've got a horizontal menu in this kind of like header section. And here are all of the pages of our block. Now, let's say we don't want all of these pages. We can go ahead and go to the left. And on the left, you'll find loads of useful tools, which I'll cover in a second. But if you go to pages and menu first, here you can see your site pages. Now we're currently on home. And if you click on a page, it will take you to it. So we'll go to blog. So now we're on blog and this is what the blog section looks like. Now you're gonna have to take your time and edit these different pages. So let's say we don't want a resources page. We can go ahead and click on this and then you can just delete it here. So delete that page and then resources has gone. So now we've just got home, blog, about and contact and I'm gonna leave it at that for the simplicity of the video. So now let's zoom out again. So we've got here Thailand blog. And now you've got your different sections. So if you hover over the first section, it's gonna be a quick edit section and you can go ahead and change the image. So I'm gonna to go to column background and click change. And now we can change this image on the left. So I'm gonna then click on image. And what you can do here, you can upload your own images once it loads. So you can upload media here to add on your blog. Now, if you wanna use Wix's media, you can just search him for a keyword and you can then find an image which matches your description. There isn't many images on Thailand, so I would probably have to import my own media that I've found online. But I'm just gonna go with this picture here, and there you go, it's now changed this. Okay, so also on this section, if you scroll down, you've got the title. Now this is gonna be the title of a post, and then you've got one post here. Now if you scroll down here, you've got your title on the right, and you've got your post list, and you can manage your content on the dashboard here. So if you go to manage posts, that's gonna take you over to your blog post section. And this is where you would write posts and they're going to appear then in Wix. Now, when you're editing a blog, you need to have some posts really already written because you can't really edit a blog website without having blog posts. It's just gonna use the filler ones. So it's brought me to the dashboard. I mean, blog overview. And you can see it's gonna ask us to create our blog post, which we can go ahead and do up here. So I'm gonna just create a new blog post for the video. And I'm just gonna do it really, really quick. So I'll just do best beaches in Thailand 2024. And then obviously you would start right in here. I'm just gonna get some filler text. So we're gonna just go to a text generator and I'm just gonna add some random text here. Okay, so this is gonna be our blog article. It's just kind of filler text, right? We can also add an image to this. So if you go ahead and find where you want the image, so I want the image at the start, we can then click add and you can add here image. And this is how you would write your blog posts. And again, we can go to Wix's media or we can use media that you upload. I'm just gonna use media from Wix and I'll just search for beach. Okay, so we'll pretend this is an image, a beach in Thailand. It isn't, but we'll just go with it, right? You can also resize this here, so small fit. Maybe you want it like that. Okay, so I'm gonna publish it like this. Click publish. And I'll show you how you can get back to this page to publish more posts in a second. But I've just published one just for the video. So now it's going to get rid of the default blog post. And now we should be able to add our blog post here. So if we go to settings, post list, we can change the layout. So let me try here and change it. Now you're gonna have to do a lot of trial and error. Sometimes it just won't work. So here I am on my posts. I'm just going to go ahead and edit this one and we'll add a category to it. So if I go to categories on that post, it's a good idea to categorize it. So I'll just call it beaches and then we'll publish this. So it's not actually updating this. And this is what I mean about when you make changes, sometimes it just doesn't work or you have to find a workaround. So I'm not sure what's happening with this. We might need to go ahead and like kind of delete different elements. Like I might just want to put text here instead. Because if you scroll down, you can see you've got your recent posts here. So this is populating. So this is all sorted. You've also got these sections, which we're gonna to need to edit. So let's say we're having issues with this certain part of the website and you would wanna get rid of it. So you can just go ahead and click on each individual element, make sure you're on 100%, and then you can just delete this, right? 
And now maybe we want to add elements in the top left hand corner. And here you see all of these elements. If you go to blog, you could probably just add in a post list. So we could probably add in this one and it might work. Yeah, so there we go, it's worked now. And so it's just a lot of trial and error when blogging and when using Wix. You do have to be patient with it though. If you don't have patience, it's gonna be hard work. So we could have one blog post here at the top and we could enter in another one here, or I can just add elements and everything you wanna add is gonna be up here on the top left. And then I could do like a paragraph and maybe I could center this. Maybe I could write like a little section about me and why I'm writing this blog. So hi, I'm Bradley and I love Thailand. And then obviously you could go ahead and write and fill in this text box, right? So you would obviously go ahead and complete that section of your blog. Now, if you don't want a section, so say if we're already introducing ourselves up here, we don't want this section, you hover over the section, you go more options, delete, and it's gonna completely remove that section. I don't want this either, delete. And you can create your blog and make it very simple if need be. Now to write new blog posts, I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the blog section. You can change the page up here, look. And then here where it's got your blog section, you can go to manage posts. And then from here, you can start to write more posts and populate them wherever you want. Now I would categorize these because then it makes them easy to be added to lists or showing like a specific category on the home page or on specific pages. So you go create a new page, then you can obviously create a new post. And then once you're happy with your website, make sure you save it. You can then use Wix's free domain name, or if you wanna connect your own, I've got many tutorials. So just search how to connect a custom domain name to Wix and I'll come up. Then save and continue, and then you're gonna to wanna to publish in the top right hand corner. So publish now. Then once your site is published, you can go to view site and then you should see it. So here is our URL, here is our actual blog, which looks half decent, right, it looks okay. And then people can click on this article and it's gonna redirect them to that article where they can read it. If you go home, you've then got this here, you've got your recent posts and this stuff you're obviously gonna to need to edit. Well, that's the basics of creating a blog in Wix. The key takeaways are take your time. You can always undo using this button here if you make a mistake and don't go editing too much regarding the template. Like don't go too out of bounds with the template. Like don't go too out of bounds with the template. I hope that video helped you out. Please leave a like if it did and I'll see you in the next one.